Construction of the Glen Canyon Dam began on October 15, 1956, when President Dwight D. Eisenhower pressed a telegraph key from Washington, D.C. to set off the first dynamite blast. Rising 710 feet above bedrock, the Glen Canyon Dam was constructed to harness the power of the Colorado River in order to provide for the water and power needs of the West's rapidly growing population. Glen Canyon Dam is the second highest concrete arch dam in the United States, second only to Hoover Dam which stands at 726 feet. Construction of the 1,271 foot long steel arch bridge was completed in 1959. Construction continued 24 hours a day until on September 13, 1963, the last of over 400,000 buckets of concrete was placed. Due to the vast capacity of the reservoir, it took 17 years for Lake Powell to completely fill for the first time. It began filling in 1963 and completed filling in 1980. Formed by the waters of the Colorado River behind Glen Canyon Dam, Lake Powell's 1,960 miles of winding shoreline, when full, in 186 mile length, make it the second largest reservoir in the United States. In addition to its significant recreation value, Lake Powell functions as a vast bank account of water for the surrounding states, which can be drawn on during dry years. As drought conditions persist in the southwest, the water storage in Lake Powell is especially critical. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.